G'day everyone, Audi Triple Five here. In today's video, I just want to share with you something exciting, and it's this. I've got myself a pair of these DJI Microphone 2s for my moto vlogging setup. So I'm out here today on my 450MT, and I figured what better way to test this out by doing a moto vlog using them. These are lapel microphones, which are wireless, and if you are moto vlogging and you're not sure about what microphone setup to get, I highly recommend these. The setup I've got was the one with the two microphones, the charging case and the receiver. With all of that together, it was quite expensive, it was like $512, but I was able to use the money from selling the 3D printed tank pads on eBay to purchase this. So it's been a real good success with people buying that product on the eBay store, supporting the channel, and then being able to turn that back into products for the channel itself, being these microphones. The total cost wasn't just from the pads, so I did have to subsidize it a bit with other income, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm bringing this back to everyone to help support the channel and give that really good audio, which you're hearing now. So I've got two of these microphones, but only one mouth. So I used the other microphone to get the sound from the bike. So underneath the seat, oh geez. Underneath the seat here, I've actually got my old lapel microphone, the Sony ECM LV1, stuck under there. And I could just plug that microphone straight into this microphone. So that just plugs into here. Now the audio that's getting recorded on this is actually coming from this microphone, which is picking up the sound from the exhaust. So this can now just get stashed up under here. Okay, so what does this actually sound like? Well, I can turn that on now. And so now the bike's running, you can hear the exhaust sound. And I'll just switch purely to that exhaust sound now. And I've turned back on my microphone in my helmet. So it's a pretty sweet audio setup. What do you reckon? Let's test it out where we go for a ride. So I upgraded to this microphone because I'm sure you're all aware by previous audio setup that I've had for years is not the best and with this microphone setup I've actually got my visor open and you can hear how clear that sound is and in fact I'm getting a lot of wind flapping against my face and I could just close that and it will sound even clearer but it does a terrific job at uh, cutting out all of that noise. So just listen to that downshift. It's nice, isn't it? It really sounds delightful. Now in today's video I'm not doing anything technical, I'm just really just commuting in the wrong way to go home. <laughs> There's a lot of cows out today. So for the viewers that are international, this is what farms in Australia, or at least here in Queensland, look like. This is cattle farms, right? So we don't necessarily have big feeding lots like they do in other countries such as America. The cows are actually able to roam around a paddock and eat grass and have some sort of quality of life. They're not just chained to a, a feeding trough, although that is not always the case. And I know when they get closer to the time to um, be sent to the slaughterhouse, perhaps they have them in holding pens for short times there before you know the final deed is done. 
but this is for the majority of the cow's life what they're going to be experiencing so they're free to roam out in the outside here and just like us we're just free to go anywhere that we can go as long as there's a road so not sure who is really the cattle hmm. better get a move on and continue on eh? <laughs> listen to that sweet exhaust you know this whole audio setup now that I've got on the bike really would not be possible if it wasn't for the fact that all of you watching this video are helping out with raising funds through ad revenue all of the people that have purchased 3d printed tank pads as well as the 3d printed uh, cover for the USB as well as everyone that's bought one of the Exedo A301 pumps because they're the best pump you can get for the CF Moto using my affiliate link and, and that is really just all combined together as well as a small amount from my own money to really just make this audio setup possible so big thank you very much to everyone like even if you didn't buy anything just by watching this video you are helping so thank you, thank you, thank you so if you are a Moto vlogger and you are looking at an audio microphone setup like this I think it's really worth it getting I've gone the whole hog and bought the the double microphone pack with the receiver you don't actually have to do that if you're happy with just one microphone in your helmet you can just buy one individual microphone but the drama with doing that is you don't have any ability to adjust the gain from the microphone so with the pack that I've got that's got the receiver it gives me the option to really dial down the gains especially when it comes to the rear microphone so that way it's not super distorted when it records and that's the advantage of getting the whole pack now I don't have any other DJI products so I know the Osmo camera can give you some basic functions but when it comes to the microphones I just went the whole hog so that way you could listen to my rambling without thinking geez what is he talking about I wish he'd just shut up because all I can hear is <laughs> look at this beautiful day surrounded by some more farmlands on this dirt track if you have an adventure bike or an adventurous spirit you know what I mean when I when I say this you know it's like Friday afternoon you get on the bike you just you just have some downtime just doing something fun and it's relaxing you like it's it's nothing quite like it really and I guess that's why you're watching this video because you know exactly what I mean or you've got an interest in knowing exactly what I mean switch out here peak hour traffic middle of nowhere you know I'm pretty excited about this bike and I actually bolted on some more accessories I know a lot of people have been watching every single video I'll upload which is fantastic and good on you but if you haven't or if you're interested in knowing what modifications I've done on the bike I'm just going to quickly spruik them okay so starting up here this is a magnetic tank bag which I bought from Temu it was only like seven bucks or something and I pop some zip ties through it so that way I can put it up here on this bar here this bar is 12 millimeters so it's not the standard 22 that you get a lot of accessories for but the advantage of just doing that is it makes my phone a bit more weatherproof moving down here 3d printed USB cover you can find them on the Audi 555 store bar raisers I bought them off AliExpress just to raise the bars up a little bit tank pads so these tank pads again from AliExpress, they're really grippy, they look great on the bike. I've got the upgraded CF Moto bash plate, I've got the CF Moto lower crash bars, I've got the CF Moto upper crash bars, and just to show you on this side, in these CF Moto upper crash bars, I've actually designed this 3D printed storage half cylinder here. It's called the smuggler's tube. This is the prototype where you can have a little bit of extra storage I'll just pop some um, hearing protection in there but you can see how cool that is so once that prototype is done I'll be putting that on the Audi 555 eBay store I've just got to work out what plastic is the best to use I've got the tall windshield this is 45 centimeters versus I think 30 centimeters of the stock one so it's it's about this much higher front brake caliper guard down here we've got the rear brake reservoir guard and on the back of the bike I've got these luggage rack slash crash protection on the back there so I could really just lay the bike over and not have to worry about ripping my exhaust off 
and it comes with a different guard on the exhaust as well to fit it all in. Underneath the seat, 3D printed tank pads and this uh, 12 volt thing for my heated jacket. Uh, this is just an Audi bag that I bought to have a bit of storage on there for my tools. But that's it so far. That is the CF Moto 450 MT accessories and you can actually hear what I'm saying now without too much distortion on that microphone so it's pleasant for you to all hear what I'm talking about right <laughs> and you know you probably want to hear some more of that sweet exhaust so let's get it started again there we go that is it for today's video everyone Thank you very much for supporting me in my channel and it's great to give back you all the better audio quality let me know what you think in the comments below if there's anything that you want to know or any tweaks that you think are really good to know as well for the dji bike 2 setup well as usual keep safe out there on the road stay on two wheels and not on your head ensure you be careful when riding because you can have a big bull just on the side of the road instead of being in a paddock i don't know who's going to charge me <laughs> oh dear Oh dear, what's going on? Oh dear. Get back in your paddock. Well, I was a bit nervous. Let me just let the cow just run a bit. What are you doing out there anyway? <laughs> Well, as usual, keep safe out there on the road. Stay on two wheels and not on your head. That cow just jumped over the fence. You're a smart cow. We need to watch out, humans. They will be eating us soon. And as usual, keep safe out there on the road. Stay on two wheels and not on your head. And I'll see you all next time. Laters! Skippy! Skippy! Oh, dear!